Hey, good morning to you. Happy Friday. Welcome back to 7 News. We're on another zip trip, our final zip trip of the season to Clemson. I have Cameron Farish here. He is the co-owner of Tiger Town Tavern, which is a staple in Clemson. That's where you go? Yes. That's every, if, <laughs> Absolutely. If you've been here, yeah. you know what Tiger Town Tavern. I've actually been. Lovely place. Anyways, we'll get into that after our trivia with Olivia. I begged this man to come on. He said yes. So we're going to pick his brain a little bit about Clemson. Uh, a little bit of history. You think you're ready? I'll try. The way that it works is a minute on the clock with the producers. They're in my ear. You can't hear them, but you're going to try your best to get through the seven questions. So let's get to it. Okay. All right. My first question. Clemson took over in the name of Calhoun for what reason? To separate the Newtown area from Calhoun and move it closer to the university? Bingo. Second question, the estimated population of the city of Clemson? 18,000 or so permanent residents. That's a hefty amount of people. And what year did the college turn into Clemson University? 1964. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> I was going to get that wrong. <laughs> the historic sites, there's several in Clemson. Can you name me one of them? Uh, we have the Calhoun Mansion on campus. That's correct. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can stop there. Uh, the Clemson Tigers, the football team ranks what in the AP poll right now? 14th. Do oh, you, you think you're going to go down? Oh, a little I bit? think we're going to go up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, no, no, we're going to go down. You're going to go down, okay. Down, that's what we up, meant. We're going to do better, better after yeah, Saturday. That's what you meant. True or false, the trash schedule on Monday, it's Labor Day. Are the trash guys going to be laboring? I believe they will be working. They will, yes. Your trash will come and get you. Uh, the rivers that encompass Lake Hartwell, can you name me one? The 12 mile dumps into the Kiwi right here and it becomes the Seneca and then it flows down past the Conneros and the March Creek and then the Tougaloo flows in from the Georgia side. You just named 20 of them so it sounds like you got it correct. <laughs> and they turn into the Savannah. Bonus question for you, your favorite part about Clemson? I just love that it's a, it is a family, you know, uh, that it, it's still, we're not you, you go downtown, there's, it's all mom and pops, it's all family owned. Um, even the new bar, Roar's family owned. Um, it's the, it's not cookie cutter, it doesn't look exactly like, it, you know, it's not a bunch of franchise places everywhere. Uh, all the merchandise stores are local, yeah. really. Um, you know, Knickerbockers and Tiger Sports Shop are started by Clemson families, coaches, families. The roads run deep. For the people who are watching, haven't come over this way. Tiger Town Tavern. You know, I started at Tiger Town Tavern uh, the year the Panthers played at Clemson, um, putting myself through school, working. Um, it's, uh, there were two partners before me that started in 1977. Uh, my wife worked there before me, uh, my two partners, all of us started basically working the floor and we've all worked our way up to, to owning it. Uh, the two partners that started it, they were slinging beer and cleaning up and then it's grown they've to be. since, and it's Tiger Town. Uh, we've, we, we, when you turn 21, you can come down there and you get your first legal drink and you get your free t-shirt. It seems to be wildly popular. It's uh, the only advertising we really spend. Which and, you've brought for And us. I brought some swag for you and your team. Um, T-shirt for you. Thank Hope you. It's the right size, and then of course I think our iconic logo. I think <laughs> it's one of the best in the world. So, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I absolutely adore this town. Uh, our local government, our city council, and mayor are doing a, a phenomenal job with some hard decisions. Uh, our police department and fire department do it, and, and EMS do a great job of protecting us and uh, servicing our students. Well, thank and, you. Uh, and I love it here. We're appreciative of you coming on this morning. Uh, this will be at WSPA.com for all extra information on Tigertown Tavern. We'll see you on the other side of the break. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining us. You're watching 7 News. All right.